In this video, I want to complain about two changes from the ASME Y14M 1994 standard to the ASME Y14-5 2009 standard. Now, what these changes have in common, one, neither of them is in the appendix of the 2009 standard as major changes, and two, they both carry on to the 2018 standard, so they kept these. The first has to do with the decimal places and basic dimensions compared to the feature control frames associated with those basic dimensions, specifically the tolerances in the feature control frames. In the 1994 standard on page 25, it says that the basic dimension value is expressed with the same number of decimal places as the tolerance. Let me give you an example of what I mean. So this is essentially what the examples look like in the 1994 standard. When you have a basic dimension and it's associated with a, toler a feature control frame with the tolerance of three decimal places, the basic dimension should also have three decimal places, not the basic dimension with two decimal places and the feature control frame tolerance with three decimal places. Now, this changes in the 2009 standard. On page 26, it states that there is no requirement for the basic dimension value to be expressed with the same number of decimal places as the tolerance. So, in the 2009 standard, you can do this either way. It doesn't matter. Now, it might seem like that would save some time in drafting, and this is my opinion, it's not a fact or anything, but I think it can cause problems with CAD models. Now, I need to say first that the drawing is going to take precedence over the CAD model. So when you send somebody a drawing and a CAD model, they should write their programs, you know, taking the drawing into account over the CAD model. But what can happen is, What can happen is your CAD program will round decimal places when you're working on your drawing. So say this dimension is supposed to be 0.375, right? When you're making the CAD model, it's 3 eighths of an inch, 0.375, and then you get to the drawing stage and you say, hey, one decimal place is fine. I'll just make it one, it'll make the drawing more readable. Well, what happens is the CAD model keeps that 0.375, but now your drawing says 0.4. Now, if your tolerance in your feature control frame has three decimal places, you're almost certain to miss this tolerance if somebody programs the part off of the CAD model and doesn't take this into account. Now, as I said before, the drawing takes precedence. Technically, if this is 0.4, then that's where the tolerance zone is. But what I'm saying is now there's a discrepancy between the model and the drawing, which is usually not good. So that's why I don't like this change that, again, is carried over into 2018. Now, the next change has to do with datum feature symbol placement, specifically on feature control frames. So in the 1994 standard on page 41, it states that the datum feature symbol may be placed above or below and attached to the feature control frame when the feature or group of features controls the datum axis or datum center plane. Interestingly enough, it doesn't mention the datum center point, which is also a possibility, but I'll let that slide. What it's basically saying is you should not put the datum feature symbol on things like flatness that apply to a surface or perpendicularity that applies to a surface. So what you'll see is something like this, right? I've got a perpendicularity feature control frame. I'm not putting the datum feature symbol on the feature control frame. This is how we would do it in the 1994 standard. In the 2009 standard, however, you, it says on page 38, it states that the datum feature symbol can be placed above or below and attached to the feature control frame. There's no carve out that it has to be a feature of size, specifically a datum axis or a datum center plane. So the 2009 version of the standard, you can do this no problem. And many people out there put datum feature symbols on a feature control frame as a matter of course. 
Uh, it's one of those things you'll pick up if you see you know, older drawings. Typically, it's only applied to something that's a feature of size. For example, the 1994 standard, you could easily apply a datum feature symbol to this feature control frame because it applies to a feature of size. Now, as far as why I don't like this one, it's just a readability thing. It's really, really just opinion, okay? So I like the older, the 1994 version, because it was a kind of a two-step check. If you saw uh, a datum feature symbol applied to a feature control frame, you pretty pretty sure it was a feature of size. You look at the feature, it's a feature of size, no problem. It's kind of similar to that. You know, in this feature control frame, we've got a diameter symbol. It applies to this hole. You could make an argument that you really don't need that. It's kind of obvious that it applies to the whole because there's only one feature control frame. But we still put it there just so people, there's like a double check system. Now with the newer system, when you can put a, f a datum feature symbol on any feature control frame, now you have to think about what is a feature of size. And it's not always just that it's a surface. You could have a profile tolerance um, have a material condition now, and that's a new thing in the 19 uh, and the 2009 standard. So that's it for this video. I really wanted to talk about those two things. I've had these notes written up forever uh, when I was studying for the senior certification. Uh, uh, two things I just found, along with a couple of mis spelling mistakes in the 2009 standard, but these two always bug me. Like I said, it's not in the appendix. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below.